this is where I'm going to take, if you take your drawings, your second front view, Dan White, wall two, you'll see that, and you see the drawings that we've created. And you see the elevations that have been put into place. And the length of these walls that are in these elevations and, and the length of the total wall. So what we're going to do is, if, if you have walls like that, there's a faster way of doing this. We go to multi-wall and we click on it and we will click on add entire wall. So here we go. We can If the entire, entire wall is one wall height, can we? this particular panel system does not allow us to do terraced walls. But we can do a, the total length of the wall. We will click on here and it's, we're going to create a bottom of wall, which is 995. We can click across and to top of wall elevation is 996 and it the first panel is always the first length is always zero because we are starting on the front of the wall elevation there is no length as yet and then we but your length of panel becomes um, evident on your next elevation which is 994 and the top of wall is 997. And your length of wall is going to be 12 feet relative to that drawing that we've created. So that panel is going to be 12 feet long. And we just keep moving down this wall by creating 993. That's bottom of wall for our next panel. Top of wall on, that, uh, on the second panel is 997. And the length of that is 10 feet. 992 is the elevation of the bottom wall on the third panel. And the top of wall elevation is 996. And the length of that panel is 15 feet. The fourth panel is 993 bottom of wall elevation. In the top of wall, TOW is 995. And we finally put in our final length, or the, uh, the panel length is going to be 20 feet. And our final panel, end of wall, is going to be elevation on the bottom of the wall is going to be 994. And top of wall is 995. And we have a 14 foot panel length. And this is the end of our project, and I will press OK, and we will have our, our wall calculation completed. And if you have these kind of elevation, this is really a fast way of creating a complete panel wall. And you can see that what happens is the program will automatically divide these this length, which was a total of, of 12 feet, into three separate panels and change the elevation of bottom wall and top of wall relative to what we changed our BOWs and TOWs on each one of those panels, and we'll create these panels. Now, what you can do is also edit some of the grid lengths or grid elevations. And often what we would do for construction purposes, we would click on this and we would change the the grid lengths and I always like to drag this aside so I can see the panels beside it and I can click on it and I can move the elevations of these grids to match the elevation of the grids beside so what I want to do is this one I want to raise so that it will match this so it's easier construction and I can press OK and I can do this all the way along the wall just to create some, some easy synergy between each panel's elevation of grids. It doesn't, doesn't change the calculation any. It, it uh, just for, uh, for contractors to be able to install these grids at, a, at the correct layer and, and have some ease of installation where these grids don't step up and down. 
And here we have the second, this second wall, which is wall number two. Totals for this second wall is all in place all the way through here, giving us a total for this particular wall. Now, the total for the whole project is in the print sense.